Hi, I'm Tim Starr, an Applications Engineer here at Power Integrations. Today I'm going to show you how you can implement a remote on-off function using our TinySwitch 3. It's a really great feature because it has very low input power once it's activated. So what I've done is I've connected an additional optocoupler between the EN UV pin of the device and the source pins of the device. The transistor of the additional opto is connected right in parallel with the optocoupler that's actually used to drive feedback from the output. Once 115 microamps of current is drawn from the ENUV pin, the device actually stops switching. Usually this is used to regulate the output, but here we're actually making use of that function to shut the supply completely down. We've used an optocoupler here to maintain safety isolation. Uh, if you don't need safety isolation, you can just use a regular uh, transistor. For example, a simple resistor divider feeding the base of a PNP transistor can be used to implement a defined minimum DC operating threshold. Here we have our RD91 power supply. It's a 12 volt, one amp power supply. You can see that we've got the photo transistor of our additional optocoupler connected to the source pins of the device and the ENUV pin of the device. We're gonna use the bench power supply to force a current through the LED in the additional optocoupler. The current in that LED is gonna cause a proportional amount of current to flow through the photo transistor of the opto. That current is gonna then pull the ENUV pin of the device down low which is going to cause the device to stop switching and the power supply to actually turn off. So right now we can tell that the power supply is operating normally because it meets the RD91 specifications of 12 and volts on the output, an amp of current, and we have these very normal drain voltage and drain current waveforms. I've set the bench power supply to deliver about one milliamp of current into the LED of the opto coupler. Now all I have to do is hook it up. If I've done everything correctly, I'll see the multimeter to the right show 1 milliamp through the LED of the opto. This should cause the input power to significantly decrease, no switching on the scope, and no output current or voltage. Everything looks good. You may have noticed that the output voltage doesn't fall all the way to zero. Let's expand the scale on the oscilloscope to get a better look at the drain voltage and current waveforms. A small amount of energy is still needed to power the chip's internal control circuitry. That explains these very short, low current switching cycles occurring on the drain. Right here, it's about five milliamps. This transfers some energy to the secondary. Also, the E-load doesn't present a load below one volt, so that explains why the output voltage didn't go all the way to zero. So that's how you can implement a remote on-off function using our TinySwitch 3. Thanks for tuning into Apps TV and be sure to check back for new episodes.